Well, hello. It is April 25th. If you can believe it, it looks like winter yet here. It's unbelievable, the slop we got in the snow. Uh, the way it's looking, there won't be nothing going in any fields. No seeding and gosh, I don't know when. It's gonna be a while. It, uh, it's gonna be a short window of seeding this year. Uh, just standing here by our Quonset, I had to push more snow again this morning. There was a drift here in front, right Maya? Now look how muddy you are. And the tractor is, what do you say, dirty to say the least? It's just wherever you drive, it's, it's terrible dirty. Rims and frame, everything is just a mud. It's a mud mess. Got to park our, I can't even feed with the feed wagon. You can't pull it around, you get stuck. Uh, I have to unroll bales and that's no good because we're using a lot of hay that way. Um, we're gonna be out of hay by the time these cows go to pasture. But you can just see wherever you drive here, it's just a mess. Just crazy wet water everywhere. But one good thing is if you can see the dam behind that equipment, it is plumb full of water and running over. There is all kinds of water. It's good for moisture. And surprisingly, we're not too bad a shape with our cattle. You know, the calves, there's, I think I treated four or five this morning. Not too bad, you know, <laughs> for what we went through. We're pretty fortunate, but uh, who's to say yet who's going to get sick and who isn't, but it, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, we can be thankful. I've heard some pretty bad horror stories, <clears throat> people losing a lot of calves over this weather, but we just did something we normally don't do. We opened every barn up, the corral, let everything out to fend for themselves, and they... You know, they can find shelter, and they did. They did. So our barns were full. They're a mess, of course. They're a slop mess. But uh, everything is doing good. Uh, calf shelters were full of calves. They're smart enough to go in. Uh, I did have to put some calves in uh, during the storm. There was probably four calves that were young and against a windbreak where I didn't want them, and I had to carry him with the four-wheeler to shelter, push him into a calf shelter, and thank goodness I did that, or they probably wouldn't be alive today, but um, getting around with a four-wheeler is next to impossible. I've been using the Ranger now to uh, drive around. It's a little easier to get around with a Polaris Ranger than it is that ATV four-wheeler. Maybe it's because it's heavier, I guess, but uh, anyhow. I'll just uh, show you around a little bit here and yeah, I'll jump in the ranger here and we'll drive around. But you know, to top this all off, we had, like I said, two inches of rain before four inches of snow, but the end of the rain storm was ice. Uh, you can still see it on our trees here. You can see a little bit hanging on these trees if you can see it glare. Um, we were without power for I guess you could say 24 hours. So we had the generators running, um, but we managed through it. So anyway, our puppies are wet. Not so much blue, right blue? You're doing okay. We take care of our animals. They were inside our entryway, nice and warm, but uh, they're muddy now from running around with me. So anyway, let's take a ride. You can see one of them calves over there taking a dump. 
I did treat that calf, but it isn't feeling well. Pretty loose from this moisture. So that's what you can see what happens with the sick calves. That's basically what they look like. So just treat them and hope for the best. But look at this corral. This is a slop. Just can't even drive around in here. And these are the few that are in the wet yet. The rest are out. But, I mean, it's not terrible where they're laying there. It's drier, but to get there, you got to walk through all this mess. But anyhow, they're still doing okay, I think, except for that one. But keep an eye on it. our calving corral um, yeah really can't keep nothing in here anymore but uh, like I said I got everything opened up so cows can go where they want I do put bedding down in these barns well I did because we were getting all that rain and there was a lot of cattle in there and it, it's protection so that's another reason why a lot of these calves were were dry and and that helped but you can see they do find a dry spot to lay <laughs> them ones in that feeder but anyhow wet really wet around here She calved during the storm, but she was inside, so did pretty good. Now I was going to show you something on this yellow tape calf up here at 185. Look at its hind end. Hair is kind of burned right off his hide. <laughs> That's what happens with that acidic tummy that they had scours or diarrhea but he's over it and doing good and just a little hair loss on the butt there but <laughs> he'll be fine
it's time to go home and get a bite to eat. Warm up a little bit. Even though it's 28 above out, it does feel pretty cool with the snow on the ground and there's a little bit of a breeze. So well, we're hoping for warm weather soon. Not only me, but all the farmers. Everybody needs to get in the field and get something done. So take care and stay safe, everyone.